people welcome to the workshop practice class the workshop practice or workshop technology is a common subject in any uh, engineering course normally in the first year level this uh, this is a common subject whatever your field the knowledge gained under this subject is uh, very important you have you will find the direct application from this subject when you work when you go to work on industry you have direct application especially the mechanical students may those who are doing the mechanical engineering they will definitely find the direct application from this subject the those who are doing the mechanical also the further modules also relating to this uh, module in your second year level so uh, what is mean by the workshop the workshop the place where some task is specific task is carried out we can call it as a workshop some specific task is carried out we can call it as a workshop so here under this subject we are mainly focusing to mechanical workshop mechanical workshop technology that mean uh, mechanical workshop mean some mechanical task is carried out this where some mechanical task is carried out we can call it as a mechanical workshop so uh, what are the mechanical task the mechanical task uh it may be a mechanical system component manufacturing or mechanical system component repairing or maintenance these three things the manufacturing repairing or maintenance the place where this uh, task is carried out for a mechanical system you can call it as a mechanical workshop practice so the under this subject here we are uh, going to learn what are the technologies what are the technologies applying these uh, processes mechanical system component manufacturing uh, repairing and maintenance the various technologies are used uh, for these uh, operations so we are going to discuss some of these uh, basic technologies used in these uh, activities for this module you are in the practical session also the what you are gain uh, knowledge under the theory class you will you are going to practice at the workshop uh, practical classes also then okay let's move to the theory okay let's move to the theory of this subject uh, today well, first i am going to give the introduction to this uh, what is mean by the workshop technology and so on then uh, we, we can go move to the uh, theory and calculation of this subject okay okay let's move to the theory of the workshop technology subject the workshop technology the i explain the workshop the some the place where some specific task is carried out called the workshop but we are mainly focusing to mechanical workshop we are mainly focusing to mechanical workshop mechanical workshop so the mechanical task is carried out place where mechanical task is carried out you can call it as a workshop so what are the mechanical tasks manufacturing or repairing work uh, call we can call it as a mechanical task place where uh, workshop some place where some mechanical task is carried out you can call it as a mechanical workshop manufacturing work repairing work okay so what are the manufacturing what are the, we are mainly focusing on the mechanical workshop manufacturing of mechanical system component here what is it with the mechanical system the mechanical system the systems which are work according to two mechanical principles and theories we can call it as a mechanical system for example if you take a engine 
automotive engine is a mechanical system. Its behavior, its operation, we can explain using the mechanical theories and principles. That's why we are calling it as a mechanical system. If you take a lathe machine, if you take a milling machine, its behavior, operation, we can explain using the mechanical theories and principles. So then, uh, the mechanical system component. Mechanical system component, manufacturing and repairing. What are the components of the mechanical system? If you take an automotive engine, internal combustion engine, what are the components? What is the main structural component? Every mechanical system has the structural component. What, are, what is the main, uh, if you take an automotive engine, what is the main structural component? Engine block. Engine block is the main structural component. All other components are mounted or attached to this engine block. Engine block is the main structure component. But then what are the other components of the uh, engine? Piston, connecting rod, crankshaft, camshaft, gear wheels, pulleys, flywheel. All these are component of the mechanical system. Then if you take a lathe machine, what are the components? What is the main structure component of the lathe machine? Every mechanical system having the main structure component. Every mechanical system having main structure component what is the main structure component of the lathe machine what is the main structure component of the lathe machine lathe bed lathe bed is the main structure component of the uh, main structure component of the lathe machine no other component are mounted on this lathe bed then what are the other component of the lathe machine uh, lathe chuck a stock tail stock uh, carriage, tool post, the leaf screw, gear wheels, all these are component of the lathe machine. Under this uh, workshop technology subject, we are discussing, we are going to learn how these component are manufacturing and repairing work done. What are the technologies used to manufacture this mechanical system component and what are the technologies used to repairing these uh, mechanical system components okay then uh, the manufacturing or repairing is a process it's a process it's not a single operation it's a process 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 mean it having the it is a combination of uh, several operations called the process. If you take a, something manufacturing, it having the uh, it's a combination of unit operations. Okay, unit operations. Workshop. Uh, so what are the workshop operations? The operation, the process mean the combination of operations. So what do you mean by the operation? The operation means certain activity done on workpiece. We can call it as a operation. The certain activity Certain activity done on the workpiece is called operation. The turning operation, drilling operation, uh, grinding operation, uh, thread cutting operation. These are the unit operations. The process is combination of these operations. The process is combination of these operations. The manufacturing is a process, repairing is also a process. So first tell me what is the work workpiece. The workpiece the workpiece, uh, the workpiece means initial piece of material taken for certain operation is called workpiece. For example, if you take a certain operation, certain operation, initial piece of material called the workpiece.
with these. So then the output is the product. Okay. If this output is a, it may be a semi finished product or finished product. If it is a output is a semi finished product, then if there is a second operation, for the second operation, this product become a workpiece. Workpiece. Operation 2, operation 1. Here, the initial piece of material taken for this operation is called the workpiece. Then after this operation, the, the semi-finished product. So then when it start in the second operation, this product is called workpiece for this operation. Okay, this is how we are defining the uh, workpiece operation process and the workshop. Okay. Then uh, what are the workshop operations you know? What are the workshop operations you know? Okay. What are the workshop operations you know? What are the workshop operations you know? The various uh, operations in a uh, workshop activities, various operations. Workshop operations. Metal cutting. Metal forging. Forging. Rolling, metal rolling. Building, casting, there's a lot of application, a lot of operations, unit operations we are doing in workshops. Okay, so every uh, activity, every operation having certain technology, having certain every operation associated with certain techniques and technologies. So under this subject, you are going to learn what are the technologies, what are the techniques apply in each and every operation. Actually, what you are uh, what you are learn under this uh, theory class, you are going to practice actually in the workshop practical classes. Okay. Then among these uh, operations in industry, the metal cutting is the most common operation. In every workshop you can see the metal cutting operations. Normally in every workshop you can see the metal cutting operation. The so metal cutting is the uh, as the finishing operations, metal cutting operations are used. They are widely used in this uh, metal cutting operation in the workshop. Uh, among this uh, workshop operation, metal cut cutting is the most common one. Okay. Then uh, the workshop operations these operations we can divide into two categories called manual tool operations we can divide into a two category machine tool operations And the hand tool operations. The worst every workshop operations, any workshop operation, we can categorize under these two called uh, machine tool operations and the hand tool operations. So, what is mean by this uh, machine tool operation? If the operation carried out using the 
certain machine tool called machine tool operations so what is what are the machine tools available in the workshops hmm? what are the machine tools available in the workshops what are the machine tools what are the machine tools available in the workshops hmm? this level lathe machine mini machine drilling machine drilling machine shaping machine all these are machine tools machine tools if the operation done using the mesh, uh, this uh, one of these uh, machine tool you can call it as machine tool operation if the work is done using the hand tools those operations are called hand tool operations so what are the hand tools what are the hand tools what are the hand tools hexo hexo filing chiseling hexo win filing chiseling these are hand tool operations okay uh, threading tapping hand tool operation fitting hand tool operation these are hand tool operations these are machine tool operations if the task is performed using the manual operations called hand tool operations every workshop uh, operations we can divide into these two category machine tool operation and the hand tool operations okay then let's move to uh, Let's move to the uh, common main workshop operation, metal cutting operation. Okay, let's move to the. We are going to discuss in detail about the metal cutting operations. Okay. metal cutting this is the this is the most common uh, workshop operation metal cutting operation then let me define this uh, metal cutting operation first in uh, metal cutting operations the materials are removed the materials are removed to obtain the dimensions and geometries okay in metal cutting operation we are removing the material from the workpiece to obtain required dimensions and shape so let me take the example let's take uh, this kind of bolt this kind of threaded bolt let's take this is the bolt of a certain uh, machine component okay due to we have this bolt thread we have to replace it okay let's take we have to replace the bolt so then uh, when you're going to replace this bolt what we have to do the initially we have to check this bolt is available to purchase or not if there's uh, available to purchase we can directly replace with the new one but let's take the unfortunate this bolt is not available to purchase in the market so we have to manufacture that bolt okay we have to manufacture that bolt when we are going to manufacture this bolt we are starting with the 
selection of the workpiece okay when selecting a workpiece we have to select the material similar to the the bolt original material if this is a, a mild steel bolt we have to select the mild steel workpiece if this is a cast iron bolt we have to select the cast iron uh, material workpiece so then uh, let's take uh, the workpiece we need workpiece we need the initial uh, piece of material we are taken to manufacture this bolt to hold the workpiece so what can you say about the the when selecting a workpiece the first condition the workpiece should be same with the the material original material of the component so then uh, what can you say about the dimensions of the workpiece the dimensions of the workpiece the dimensions of the workpiece should be greater than the major dimensions of the compound we are going to manufacture because the metal cutting is a material removal process we can't add material in metal cutting operations so that the selected uh, workpiece dimensions should be greater than the major dimensions of the that means we have to select this kind of uh, workpiece now work this let's take this uh, the bolt the total length let's take it as l the hexagonal head the major diameter let's take it as d 5 in d the selected workpiece dimensions selected workpiece dimensions should be greater than these dimensions that mean we have to select the workpiece 5 in d dash l in l dash l dash should be greater than l d dash should be greater than d why the metal cutting is a material removal process we are removing this material to get the final dimensions and show shape so we can't add material so it's a uh, the workpiece uh, major dimension should be greater than the product major dimensions okay then this is the compound we are going to cut we are going to manufacture using this uh, workpiece okay that means this bolt should be able to insert into this uh, workpiece then you can see the other one we want this is the one we have. Okay, this is the one we have. This is the one we want. You can see. Somehow, if we can remove this uh, material, this material area, this volume of this material, we can obtain this uh, shape and geometry. No, this shape we can obtain. This ball shape we can obtain. That is the thing we are doing in metal cutting operation. We are removing this uh, unwanted material. This material becomes unwanted according to our requirement, according to our drawing, according to our dimensions, according to our geometry. This material area becomes unwanted. We are removing this unwanted material from the workpiece to obtain required geometrical shapes and the dimensions. That is called uh, metal cutting operations okay metal cutting operations then when we are going to remove this material we need the cutting tool we need the cutting tool to remove this material to cut out this uh, material we need the cutting tool okay we need the cutting tool so when selecting a cutting tool there's a uh, two uh, important things are needed cutting tool should be uh, harder than the workpiece material the two considerations the cutting tool material should be cutting tool material should be harder than harder than
web piece web piece material and it also should be sharp it also should be it also should have sharp edge it also should be have sharp edge to cut this material from the web piece yeah, there's a two major considerations there's also minor consideration also there but two major con consideration when selecting a cutting tool it should be harder than the web piece material and it should be sharp enough to cut the material from the web piece these are the two considerations when selecting a cutting tool okay let's uh, let's we have the cutting such cutting such cutting tool let's take we have such kind of cutting tool okay okay this is the work piece This is the work piece. Work piece. Then we have in the cutting tool also. This hard it having the sharp cutting edge. This is called cutting tool. It's called cutting tool. Okay. Uh, work piece and the cutting tool. Then. Uh, Cutting tool sharp and harder than the workpiece material. So then, what what is the next we want to cut out this material from the workpiece? There should be a relative movement in between these two. Either workpiece have to move, either uh, cutting tool have to move with respect to each other. That means uh, uh, there should be a relative motion in between these two. So that means, uh, for example, let's take. Uh, we are rotating this uh, web piece against the cutting tool. Okay. Then while rotating the web piece against this cutting tool, we have taken this cutting tool in this direction. In that way, what happened? When the cutting tool advancing in this direction, it removes this kind of layer from the work piece. That means it reduces the diameter of the work piece when it advances in the tool along the rotating axis of the work piece. Okay. In that way we can cut out this uh, material. We can reduce the diameter of the work piece. This operation actually done on the lathe machine. This operation is called turn in operation. This operation turning operation done on lathe machine this operation is called uh, turning operation done on lathe machine uh, reducing the diameter of the workpiece using the lathe machine operation then uh, you can uh, here this is the turning operation done on lathe machine there's a two ways to generate this uh, relative motion in between the workpiece and the cutting tool what are these two ways using the machine tool or using the hand tool operation manually also we can possible we can uh, generate the relative motion in between the workpiece and the cutting tool if the is that uh, relative motion make using the manual manually that operations are called hand tool operations if the this uh, uh, relative motion is generated using the machine tool those operations are called machine tool operations okay in that way we can define actually the finally we can define the uh, metal cutting operations metal cutting operation we can define in this way metal cutting is a process metal cutting is a process
process which which removes which removes material from the workpiece workpiece using the using the each the work piece the, from the work piece using the harder cutting tool H to obtain required geometry and dimensions called metal cutting operation called metal cutting operation this is how we are defining the uh, metal cutting operation the metal cutting is a process which removes material from the workpiece using the harder cutting tool edge to obtain required geometries and dimensions this is the definition for the metal cutting Process. It also called the machine operations, machine operations. Okay, if the metal cutting operations done using the machine tools, it also called uh, machining, metal machining. Okay, metal machining. Okay, then uh, in metal cutting operations, there's a two major objectives. Two major objectives in metal cutting operations. Okay, two major things we are expecting from the metal cutting operations out as the output. Okay, two main objectives. two main objectives in metal cutting so what is my the two main objectives in metal cutting okay when we are doing certain metal cutting operation the two major things we are expecting as the output from the metal cutting operation what are these two the part we are manufacturing part we are manufacturing should be dimensionally accurate That is the main thing we are expecting from the certain uh, machine operation. The part we are manufacturing should be dimensionally accurate. If not, what happens? The entire part is useless. Okay. Within the tolerance limit, we have to obtain the dimensions for the part we are manufacturing. Then the next one, the surface finish. The required surface finish in some situation is critical. Okay. For example, if we take the slider bearing, okay, the smooth surfaces we have to obtain for the slider bearings. In the situa situation in a design, the in drawings it is also mentioned for certain uh, surfaces we have to obtain the surface roughness values given in the drawings. The surface finish also a, a very important. Uh, main objective in milk conversion these two are the major objectives they are also minor objective also also the what are the minor objectives other than these two main objectives what are the minor objectives the higher productivity lesser tool wear lesser power consumption 
uh, efficiency of the work, the safety of the work, these are uh, other objectives of the metal cutting process. Uh, these two are the major objectives. We are doing certain tasks, these two we have to essentially achieve dimensional accuracy, surface finish. Okay. Okay, the output from the metal cutting operation depend on the various parameters. Okay. Metal cutting operation. The output from the metal cutting operation depend on the various input parameters. That means we can uh, give uh, output output parameter output parameters then input parameters. What are the input parameters and output parameters for the metal cutting operation? Okay. There are three main input parameters for the metal cutting operation that we are discussing. Okay. The input parameter, cutting speed, cutting speed, depth of cut, depth of cut, feed rate, the workpiece material, cutting tool material, and also the uh, rake angle. I will explain this. Uh, what is mean by the rake angle and uh, cutting fluid condition of the cutting tool. Okay. Then uh, there are so many input parameters. Way of applying cutting fluids, the type of cutting fluids, uh, also input parameters. So all these are input parameters for this metal cutting operation. The output, actually this is an independent parameter. This is a dependent parameter. What uh, dependent parameter? What are the output parameters? Dependent parameters, dimensional accuracy. Dimensional accuracy, a surface finish, dimensional accuracy, surface finish, tool wear, tool failure, productivity, power consumption. Power consumption, generation of built up page, built up edge, that I will explain this what is my built up edge, and also the uh, vibration noise, vibration noise, all these are output parameter these are called the dependent parameter these are called the independent parameter so that means the uh, what we are setting what we are giving this input parameter then we are getting the resultant output parameter these are dependent parameters these are independent parameters that means 
to get the better dimensional accuracy we should able to give proper input parameter values okay if you are going to obtain the better surface finish we have to control we have to manage the input parameters we have if you want to avoid the tool failure we should have to control we should have to give optimum uh, parameter values for this operation for certain metal cutting operation if you want to increase the productivity we have to uh, set we have to select optimum value for these input parameters if you want to reduce the power consumption again by adjusting this input parameter we can reduce the, we can optimize the power consumption the generation of build up edge the generation of build up edge should avoid in the metal cutting operation by controlling by adjusting this input parameter we should be able to uh, we are able to avoid the uh, built up edge then the vibration we can avoid vibration if, you, if the machine tool is vibrating it produce the poor surface finish generate the poor surface finish so noise also a loss of power loss of energy we can avoid the generation of noise by controlling this input parameter that mean to achieve output better output from the metal cutting operation we are managing this input parameter to manage this input parameter you should you should have a knowledge in theory and also in practice okay under this subject we are learning for this metal cutting operation what are how to give how to select optimum parameters optimum parameter values for input parameter to give to get better output from the metal cutting operation okay okay then uh, you know the we are managing the input parameters to get the better output in metal cutting operation so we are going to learn the three main input parameter in metal cutting operation let's see the three main parameters main three Okay. three main parameters in metal cutting operation these are called three dimensions in metal cutting because it is the main uh, parameters in metal cutting operation okay then uh, what are the three main parameters cutting speed depth of cut depth of cut Speed. okay let me take the example for this one okay let's take uh, the previous operation the turn in operation you familiar with this one are you familiar with this one reducing a diameter of a workpiece using uh, on a lathe machine using the using a turn in operation then this is the workpiece And this is the cutting tool cutting tool okay then you can see the against this cutting tool the workpiece is rotating if the workpiece having the diameter d what is the relative velocity in between the cutting tool edge and the workpiece okay what is the relative velocity relative velocity relative velocity mean the surface velocity of the workpiece cylinder no why we need no so if this is rotating with n revolutions per second n revolutions per second if d in inches d in inches what is the relative velocity in between the cutting tool edge and the workpiece that is equal to 5 d n 5 d n 
5d in inches per inches per second inches per second this speed is called cutting speed this speed is called cutting speed a relative velocity in between the workpiece and the cutting tool edge is called cutting speed okay relative velocity in between the cutting edge and the work work piece is called uh, cutting speed okay then uh, next one uh, depth of cut what is the depth of cut depth of cut here you can see this tool tip is penetrate into the surface of the workpiece this amount is called depth of cut okay this amount the tool tip penetrate into the uh, work surface is called depth of cut the amount the amount tool tip penetrate penetrate into the work surface surface is called depth of cut d okay then uh, what is the feed feed F, we are using the symbol F for the feed. We are using the F, this uh, D, symbol D, and symbol V, we are using for the cutting speed. Okay. Then uh, it's also called secondary motion. The feed also called secondary motion. Okay. The feed mean rate of advance in the tool in metal cutting operations. Called feed. Rate of advance in the Tool. Oh, rate of feed in the tool called feed. the rate the rate of uh, cutter is fed called feed. Okay, the cutting speed relative velocity in between the cutting tool edge and the workpiece is called cutting speed. For example, in this turn in operation, this is how we are calculating the cutting speed. Relative velocity is the surface velocity for this operation 5d in inches per second. Uh, depth of cut. Depth of cut, the, the amount the tool tip penetrate into the work surface is called depth of cut. They are measured in millimeters, uh, inches. Here it is uh, speed, the unit of speed. It may be a inches per second, it may be a meters per second. Then the feed. The rate of uh, cutter is fed. It's called the feed. So then uh, that means while rotating the workpiece to reduce this, uh, to remove this uh, material area, we have to move the tool parallel to the rotating axis of the workpiece. Then only we can remove this uh, material. No? Then the rate which this uh, materials uh, the cutter is fed called uh, feed rate so the it is measured uh, depending on the operation the in a, in this operation it is measured uh, inches per revolution uh, millimeter per sorry millimeter per revolution in some situation it also given as the feed speed the meters per second inches per second also okay these are the three main parameters if you are doing certain machine operation you have to essentially set these uh, input parameters for a certain uh, on a certain machine tool okay